today on RGN, we're going to be talking about three news stories that will be getting a lot of gamers excited this week. So, for the very first game story that we are going to be talking about is the PS3 4.0 features and enhancements that a lot of players will be for sure wanting to see. Now, the next topic we are going to be talking about will be Battlefield 3 and the multiplayer maps that are going to be revealed. Finally, we are going to be ending off with the Xbox 720. Will it be launched and is Microsoft planning for this uh, Xbox franchise to have another series in its long listing? Uh, long years of listing, I guess. So, stay tuned for all of this information. You're watching RGN and my name is George. With now, for the very first story, we are going to be talking about PS3 4.0 features and also enhancements that a lot of players are hoping to see. Now, as of October 5th for Sony event, uh, they never actually uh, clearly speak spoke about the PS3 4.0 update, but it, it we, many people are now believing that the update will most likely be coming very soon. It is rumored that 4.0 update is very close to release, especially now that Microsoft has announced that there is a very, very big update for the Xbox Live. Now, we decided to, to put together a little list of the uh, different features that a lot of people are right now looking to have. Now, one of the main features is an improvement of the graphic user interface. Now, the PS3 3.0 interface that was shown in uh, the August of 2009, it's getting old. Now, a lot of people like old stuff, but a lot of people also like new and more innovative uh, looks ab about things. So, a good idea is a way to redesign the PlayStation Store, the PlayStation Interface, the PlayStation Network, just a bunch of those things that could possibly increase usability, increase uh, enhancement that will make uh, the site function, uh, the current PlayStation function a lot better. Hopefully that might be an update that they're looking forward to. Now another feature that last year was quite a big rumor was that net browsing would have been uh, released, but it has not been released. So a lot of people are hoping that Sony and with the currently rising in popularity, the Chrome that is developed by Google, hopefully they, them two companies will be able to release something together that will offer a better net browsing experience than any other gaming system. Now, another thing would hopefully be a cross-game voice chat. Now, this has been hopefully very, uh, like, something that a lot of people are looking for because it's also been hinted by fans that they a, a lot of them do want this feature for the Sony. Interesting, as the players have, have already thought of what they want for the current voice chat, and it is a very popular demand. Another thing is in-game entertainment apps. So this can be iTunes or web-based music applications that will allow you to listen to songs, be able to connect with your play uh, playlists while playing like different games, much like playing a game on the PC. Now, for the finally, security and speed. Those are the big things for PlayStation. Now, they might not be the fancy glamour that everyone's been looking at, but they are the fundamental requirements for a good gaming system. Now, PS3 may be lacking this a tad bit when the uh, PlayStation 3 uh, PSN got hacked, which was not a very good reputation. So hopefully they, can re they will do something better to enhance the security of the site as well as the speed for their different games, the different systems, and to improve their PSN network overall in general. So that's will be all for PS3 4.0 update. Hopefully they will release this update very soon as it is, it is in need of this update. Just comment in the comment section below about if you are interested in uh, different other features that could possibly be shown on 4.0. So for the very next update, we'll be on Battlefield 3. Now, Battlefield 3, there's a lot of uh, highly anticipated multiplayer maps that are about to be revealed. Now, the multiplayer maps in list uh, in a list will be shown in the description below. So we're actually going to be attaching some of the multiplayer maps in the description below so you can check them this out. I will be including a little brief preview of a few of these videos just to show you guys how it is in the screen that you are seeing right at this moment. 
So the current multiplayer maps will in uh, listed at random order will be Operation Metro as well as Grand Bazaar and also Caspian Border. Another uh, very highly anticipated one will be Operation Firestorm. Then those are the confirmed ones that are for sure going to be happening. There's a few more that are Terran uh, Highway, Noshar Canals, Sane Crossings, Karg Islands, and Damavad Peaks. Now those are some of the multiplayer maps that will be released during Battlefield 3. So uh, as I said before, I attached some of these and you can take a look. Now on to the next story. This next story will require you to look at the screen right at this moment. Now, if you can notice what will catch your eye in this uh, screenshot that was taken from the Red Steel trailer. Now, I'll give you guys five seconds and just see if you can spot the uniqueness of this. Okay, I think that's enough time for the people with the good eye. I hope you have caught the Xbox 720 logo that is shown in the advertisements that's right beside Capital and Mercedes-Benz. Now, in between those two. So, if you're taking a look at the screen right now, the Xbox 720 is shown in the Red Steel trailer. Now, I doubt this is a coincidence, so there must be a reason that they have that there, and it must be that they are actually planning to release the 720 right after the 360. So hopefully, this is great news for a lot of people. Maybe they might actually rename the update 720, but I'm not sure. Let us know what you think about this Xbox 3, uh, 720 uh, little sneak preview kind of thing that's shown in Red Steel, which is the latest movie that's coming out. And that concludes the RGN episode today. Hopefully you enjoyed the news topics that we showed today. Hopefully we, I actually want some of our readers to be able to uh, participate in this. So if you have any news or any suggestions, just let us know and we will take into consideration it at a very large. So thanks for watching RGN. My name is George and you have just been educated on gaming, hopefully. Okay, talk to you guys later, and see you soon. See you guys.